Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Open Studio for Data Integration. In this tutorial, we will be working on T map component. This is one of the, the most comp important component in talent. Using this component, we can achieve so much that it does the functionality of three to four different components that are available in talent. Let's see the capabilities of TMAP. So TMAP can be used to filter the rows both. Let's say if we connected the TMAP in, in the data flow, it can filter the data of the, uh, on the source side as well as it can also filter the data of the output side. It will be very useful when we are joining to different sources and after the joining, if we want to filter out any unmatched records, if you are doing a left order join, if we haven't found any record in the lookup, if you want to filter those records, we can filter that while we are sending the output that we will see in an example. So similarly, TMAP can be used for data cleansing, data type conversion. For all these purpose, we can use TMAP. TMAP, as discussed, can be used to join multiple sources. But the available joins in TMAP are inner join and left order join. T using TMAP, we can uh, use different transformation functions on the data, such as if and else, decode, and then substring in string. We can use so many functions that are available in talent using TMAP. So let's go ahead and take a example to understand what we have discussed so far. So let's take two source files. Here in this job, I have taken orders data and returns data. So for simplicity, I have reduced the number of records to very minimum. So I kept only three records in orders data and in returns data we have four records. And we are joining both the data sets based on order ID. So using order ID we will be joining orders data set with returns data set based on the order ID. So when we do a left order join, when we are taking orders as the primary data set, then what will happen? It will look for this particular record in returns data set and if it founds the match, it will return the return returned data set then the next record it will look in this data set if it is not found then it will return a null value for the returned column similarly for 125794 129 there is no record available in the returns data set so for these two records it should return null Okay, so let's go ahead, imported the, those two data sets that we have discussed in this Excel file, orders and returns. And we took the TMAP component and using TMAP component, as we discussed, based on the order ID, we have joined it to the returns data set. So we'll do one thing. Let's go ahead and redo the TMAP component. Take the TMAP component, drag and drop it here. As we discussed, we are considering orders data as the primary data set. So first of all, let's connect the orders data set and the returns data set is the lookup 
so so whenever we want to when we decide which one is our lookup data that should be connected to the tmap at later point in time so the main flow will be connected first later on whatever the source component we are connecting to the tmap will be considered as lookup so just keep it in keep it in mind while we are linking the data sources to tmap so now we have two data sources available in the inputs box this is the input box and this is the output box this is the variable section and these are the input data types for both the sources and here once we create the output we will get the output data sources so let's first take the first step as we discussed we are joining based on the order id so dr drag and drop the order id column to the order id column of the written data set so we have connected once we connected it will turn into purple and a key is activated so after connecting we have to go to the tmap settings let's go to the tmap settings and let's take a quick look at the available options match option so what are, what is the match option so let's go to the data set again take this example order id 156 that ends with 156 is available in returns data set but we have three records for the same order id <clears throat> one as returned as is not applicable and no so let's go back here if we select the unique match what it does is it will take the last record as this particular record 156 found multiple matches in returns data whenever such scenario happens it will take the last record if we select the first one first match then we will get s we will run this with uh, by changing those options multiple times and we'll see how it looks and if you say all matches we will get all the three records in the output s not 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 applicable and no all the three options all the three results we can see so let's go ahead and select the unique match so this should return the last record that is no so let's see how and let's go ahead and see how it behaves so I'm, for for the first one we are selecting the unique match and then the join model is left outer join okay so we are all set so let's go ahead and create the output and link all the rows to the output so this is the other advantage of uh, using uh, tmap component if you want to filter any rows uh, filter any columns uh, the columns that we do, do not want uh, to be passed to the next uh, next component so tmap is 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 the component which can be used to get rid of the unnecessary columns so we can also use tmap for that purpose so let's go ahead and drag and drop the sorry let's go ahead and drag and drop the written column to the output so now we have everything so apply okay for time being let's deactivate this one and connect the output to returns output to the plog row component so let's go ahead and run the job So clear, go to T log. Sync schema. Run. Okay, so let's carefully see the result. Set and let's see whatever we have discussed. We have got the similar results or not. So all I am concerned about 156 because this only order has a matching with our returns data set. 
so only 156 is available in the return uh, in the returns data set which will be matched so the other two records do not have in the returns data set so by default they will get null as written in the return column they will be null so in the return column they are null okay and we have got the value as no so why we have got the value as no because we have select the unique match what unique match does when we have multiple matches it will return the last last value so let's go ahead and tamper with that option so match model go to the match model open it first match we are selecting the first match so what what it does what it should does it should give us s as the written value so let's go ahead and see in the written column whether the value written is yes so we got from no to yes so that's the significance or that's the importance of match in the settings sorry, sorry in the settings match model that is a significance if we select all matches then we should get all the three it should return all the three values those are s no and not applicable so let's go ahead and run the job There you go. So we have got S not applicable and null. So I hope you understand what is the significance of match model, right? Match model in talent. So now all the three options we have covered. So let's go ahead and create another output as widgets and change the option to inner join and I will explain the reason for changing the join to inner join okay so when we are uh, doing an inner join between two data sets remember we can capture the rejects when we do the join let's say these two records are not available in returns data set so what talent does is it will reject these two records because it, these two records are not found in returns data set and it will pass only this particular record into the uh, into the output flow this is a normal output flow orders underscore returns so the first record will flow through that output and these two records will flow through the rejects okay so talent will capture only the rejects from the main flow not from the lookup flow so that's that's the important point one should is to keep in mind so let's only capture the id for our understanding Okay, let's go ahead and activate the T log row and link the reject rejects to this particular component. Click on that component. Say sync schema. Save. So now what the flow should look like? We are doing an inner join. And Let's change also change the yeah so we are doing an inner join and we have a original flow and we have a reject flow so as discussed the original flow should have one record and the reject flow should have two records we might get three records but because we are returning the, all the three matches that we found in the lookup that we can see but let's first go ahead and run the job 
clear run there you go so what are the records that are rejected so let's see those t log 4 I forgot to select one option that's the reason why I we are able to see the so in order to capture the see I mean there is no difference good that I haven't selected that I forgot so what what happened here we can see 156 is captured in both the flows but what we have discussed we are supposed to get 88 and 94 the records order ID ending with 84 88 and 94 should be captured in here but that was not the case what is the reason for that if you go to the tmap component double click on it to capture the rejected records go to the tmap settings and then i haven't selected this option that's the reason why we haven't got the result that we are looking for so catch the lookup inner join reject so select that as true and then apply okay clear now and then run the job so there you go so after selecting that option we can see these two records are captured by the rejected row as i said it will capture the reject rows of the main flow not the lookup flow in the lookup flow we have this record that is not present in the orders data but this record is not captured so always remember the reject flow will capture the main data set not the lookup data set okay and these are the three values s not applicable and no so we have covered how to capture the join reject rejected data so if you want to be if we have a, any scenario where we need to analyze the data that time we can use the reject output the way we have used here and then select this option and capture capture the rejected data so let's move on and uh, 